Water Lessons is a program that celebrates learning through doing. We invite water specialists from various fields of knowledge and research to host each monthly lesson and to provide a new lens to understand water as material, muse and resource. Through Water Lessons, it is our aim to unpack the qualities, powers, threats and future imaginaries of water together. The Biennale is something that we've always loved going to as participants, so it's really special to be able to work together to create a workshop around theme this year. All of our projects and our thinking is about bridging community culture and learning, and obviously water is a part of that. But in thinking about today, I was thinking that architects generally constantly are thinking about how to keep water out. How do you mitigate water leakage? Come around the table and have a look at the images and grab an image which reminds you of a meaningful experience you've had with water. Just, I was looking for something like at the beach because I really like the ocean, but mainly just like playing in the water. So like have kids playing around. So I like swimming, I like playing in the water. And like, for me, like just water is really playful. And if I don't swim for a long time, I'm like, oh, I wish I could go swim. I don't know, it's like the feeling of swimming. Uh, I chose this image of an aquarium uh, because it reminds me of the times that my grandpa used to take me and my brother when I was a kid to the aquarium and it was just such an out-of-world experience to kind of see this different perspective of the ocean and I was just super intrigued because it just makes me think of such a uh, there's such a different world out there. I really enjoyed the workshop because it was conceptual and practical and my child enjoyed it and I enjoyed it, so that's good. People in Australia or currently in Australia can't think about floods without thinking about bushfires and I think that understanding of where we are based right now rather than a one-size-fits-all approach to build environment was really helpful because we couldn't get away from that in the discussion and I found that really interesting. I made a lot of things. I made swing, what she made. Get in here. We made a place where, so our family, where mums and dads can go somewhere and children and dogs. So the mums go on a lounge and it's on the water. So then there's a dog area over here and then there's an underwater playground. But it's like made out of glass so that you can go in it, but then it's just like a little submarine swimming around really enjoyed the workshop. It made me aware about looking at different perspectives when coming up with human-centric designs, especially when it comes to human experience. Um, it also made me consider to look at water differently, to see it as a some sort of like an agent that you can use to provide a solution that, that will impact um, a community. We all have our ways of doing things. But I think the, the main goal of this workshop, of this lesson, is more in collaborating. Collaboration to come up with a solution that will not just impact a small group of people, but a community. So it may be challenging, but after the whole thing, after coming up with our prototype, I guess it was fun and I really learned a lot from it. We can only address one problem at a time. And that's why we came up with something that will teach the students, the little ones, the kids, to know and identify how to use water and the purpose of water in our daily lives.